Ow. Ow. Next. Ow. Ow. Next tutorial. Ouch. Today's makeup is super silly, super simple, but super fun. And it's how to do a first and more second degree sunburn. It's part of my 30 minute effects series where I do a makeup in 30 minutes or less, just showing you some basic techniques and basically having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> this makeup only used about two, maybe three products. It's really basic. You can go as big or as small as you wanted to. I just went completely silly with it and here we are. So if you'd like to learn how to do this makeup for yourself, ouch. Stay tuned. Ow. <laughs> Okie dokie, so before we start, yes, I'm wearing a tank top. No, I can't pull them off, but it's necessary for this video. Plus, it's Hello Kitty. <laughs> so I'm a happy panda. So now we've got that out of the way, let's paint. So as you can expect from my 30 minute effects videos, this makeup is gonna be quite simple. It might even be my most simple makeup that I've ever done, but hopefully it'll be quite effective. I'm also only gonna be using a couple products, one of which is this beautiful Crowell and Bruise Wheel. This is actually their cream color circle, if I'm gonna be really specific, but the reason why I chose it is it's got this really, really gorgeous bright red cream in it. Now you could use any other red cream, to be honest. As long as the red is a nice warm tone, you should be good to go. So I'm gonna start by popping on my trusty sunglasses, and this way I can trace around the edge of my glasses just to add a kind of tan line effect, just so it doesn't look like I've got a block color of red. That's actually the reason why I popped on a tank top so I can have this specific line. Otherwise I would just be a lobster, really. <laughs> So I'm gonna pop on my sunglasses, take a medium brush, dip that in the red Crowell and cream, and then I can start tracing around the edge of my glasses. So I'm just gonna trace roughly around the bridge of my nose, around the eye area, and then go back, and then we can blend the color away afterwards. So there we go. It's a look, isn't it? <laughs> So this is quite important. In addition to the medium brush, I'm also gonna be using a foundation brush and two types of kabuki brush, just really, really good buffing brushes so I can blend this color out relatively evenly. You could do it with a sponge, but because we're covering quite a large area, we're gonna need quite a large buffing brush. I'm also gonna be using quite a small foundation brush for the trickier areas. So then I'm gonna take those brushes and start blending this color away from the eye area. So then I'm gonna take the smaller Kabuki brush and start buffing that color, not heavily, but I just want that edge to blend towards the center, just a tiny bit to make it a little bit more soft. So next, we can start applying red to the rest of the face. So I'm not gonna apply it to the whole face, I'm gonna apply it to like key sensitive areas, like say the cheeks and around the mouth area here, maybe the forehead area, then we can blend the color away so it's more concentrated on those particular areas. So I'm gonna take that small foundation brush, dip it in the red cream and apply it to the areas that look like they'll be the most sensitive. So I'm gonna start with the nose and then work away and go around the mouth area. And of course we've got the cheeks, which will be really, really sensitive and the forehead. Then I can take the Kabuki brush again and start buffing this color away in a circular motion. And also I know the hairline is quite a sensitive area for burning, so we'll just do a line across that and then blend that downwards. I'm then taking a super textured sponge. This is just a regular sink sponge. I'm not gonna be rubbing it back and forth on my face, but it's perfectly fine to do this. Just ones that have the really nice textured tops. And I'm just gonna dip that into the red, get most of the color off, and I'm just gonna stipple that around the really sensitive areas just to act as some broken capillaries. I'm also gonna add some of the blotches to the forehead area. I'm then just blending random areas with the Kabuki brush, not in a circular motion this time, I'm just dabbing it, just so I can move the color around so it's less even. I really want that blotchy effect. Like you can see here on the forehead with the stippling and around the cheek area, it makes it a lot more natural looking if it's not a block color. So then we can start working on the neck and chest area. So I'm gonna go back to my medium brush and just as I did with the sunglasses, I'm gonna trace around the edge of my outfit. I can then blend that color away, which will involve me taking my top off, so I apologize in advance. Ha, <laughs> there we go, naked. <laughs> so let's blend. Ow. 
Then next, because I don't want my neck to be a block red, I'm gonna take my small kabuki brush, dip that directly into the red cream, and then start applying that in splodges around my neck, and then start blending them away, just so it has some really nice blotchy areas of deep red. So there we are. So the next step is completely optional. If you wanted to skip this step, you could just blend the arm area away. I myself, I'm gonna take a sponge and some liquid latex, and I'm gonna apply one coat of that to the shoulder areas of my arms, just so that when it dries, I can peel it away and make it look like the skin's peeling. It's gonna be super gross. I'm excited for it. <laughs> so remember, you're only gonna need one coat for this. So whilst that's drying, I'm gonna take some more of the red cream and I'm just gonna apply that to the tops of my ears and my ear lobes. And then I can blend those colors to meet in the middle. Okie dokie, so then once the latex is nice and dry, we can take the kabuki brush again with the red cream on it and we can start applying that all over and around the shoulder and down the arms. Then before I blend out the red anymore, we're gonna do the fun part. So I'm just gonna take my fingers and grip one random area of the latex and then pull it up ever so slightly and then tear a small hole. I can then make that hole a tiny, tiny bit bigger and then I can do the same in another random area. These don't have to be exactly the same. Ideally, they would all be different sizes and I'm just gonna keep at it and hopefully the effect will be some really gorgeous skin blisters. That is a really gross sentence I really wish I'd never had to say. <laughs> then I'm just taking some regular talcum powder on a large fluffy brush and I'm just dabbing that over the latex just to stop everything from sticking to itself and to tone it down a tiny bit. It also helps to set the red cream as well. You can also do this to the rest of the red cream on the face and neck if you wanted to, to make it last longer. I really want that shine there, so I'm not gonna do that myself. So then we just have to replicate this on this arm. So there we go. I did also take the red cream and the small foundation brush and just go over the portion of my collarbones that were on show around the t-shirt, just because it's gonna be the more predominantly bonier areas that are gonna burn first. I also went on the underside of my neck as well. So then I'm just gonna take the small kabuki brush again and a tiny bit of the red color and I'm just gonna go over the top of all of these blisters just to pink them up a tiny bit because we don't want it to be completely fresh looking skin. I'm then gonna take some hairspray. This one is by Tresemme, it's in their freeze hold. And I'm just gonna lightly spray over my shoulders just to add a layer of shine. I'm not talking about a lot of hairspray, just a few little spritzes here and there. Then finally, just to dry up the lips a little bit, I'm gonna take this off-white kind of yellow color. I'm just gonna dab that on my finger a little bit, then just apply that onto pursed lips, just so you can really see the cracks of your lips. So there we are, it just helps dry the lips up a little bit. So then all that's left for me to do is apply the cream to the rest of my arms, maybe neaten up a few little lines and we'll see what it looks like. And there we go. That's my look, officially complete. So yeah, as I said at the start of this video, this makeup was always gonna be quite simple. It was always just gonna be something silly and fun to do. And I've never done sunburn makeups on my channel before, so I thought it might be a laugh. I know it's super simple and silly, but sometimes it's fun to do makeups like this. But yeah, so even though this video was quite short and the makeup was quite simple, I hope you all enjoyed it regardless. I had so much fun doing it, it's so silly. It's definitely not to be taken seriously. It's more of a cartoony first and second degree sunburn, but hopefully some of the techniques I use will be helpful to some of you out there. And yes, yeah, so I really hope you all enjoyed this 30 minute effects video. If you liked it, please make sure to you know the usual. Like, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. Until the next video, awesome possum. Bye Fluffies! <laughs>